What's up guys? Welcome back to 25 High. Obviously this right here is no bueno. So before we get into the juice of this vid, I'm actually not going fishing today. So go ahead and get that out of the way, but we're gonna try to fix that real quick and then I got something really exciting to show you guys. So stay tuned for that. I'll do pretty good. Pretty sturdy. A whole lot better than what was on there. Okay. Alright. I am currently sitting in my kayak. And I've got a big box in my hand. Also, got new 25 high merch. Check it out. It might be linked in the description. I don't really know. Kate deals with that most of the time. But let's see what's in here. It's from Carl's Bait and Tackle. Alright, here we go. Yes. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. All right, enough of that. Um, so first off, got a little Guggen line. I wanted to test it out. I don't really know anything about it, and I needed some braids, so I figured while I was on the website, why not check it out? You know. And then. Here we go. Look at that. I'm going to get some close-ups of these here in a second, but this is the Mike Bukas, Bukas, I don't know how you pronounce it, Bullshad. This is the mini one. That is kind of, I think it's a collab with Ketchco or Carl's one. And, yeah, it says in collaboration with Ketchco and Mike Buka, Buka. I don't know, but I got a little, it's a lot smaller than I was expecting, oh, that looks juicy, man, I definitely got to give you some close-ups, but this is, this bait looks pretty sick, it's in kind of a bluegill color, looks like it could possibly be used as a shad imitation as well, but it's a pretty sick little bait. When I say little, that's still, that's, I mean, it's a decent size. Three point, three and three quarter inches, 3.75. And then up next, if I can get this to sit back in here. And next up, ooh, this looks pretty juicy. This is a Strike Pro Gill Raker 115. I think it's it's four and a half inches. It's in a kind of a dark, a dark shad color. I'm sorry, it's really hot out here. Let's see what this thing looks like up close. Oof, man, that's good. That's got some juicy, juicy looking action. Crazy. Good color too. It's got kind of a rubber tail though. This one is. This one right here has like a actual like feather tail. These things look sick. Ooh, I almost hooked myself. These things look sick. And then I'm gonna show you this as well, just cause it's pretty cool. Oh, it comes with an extra tail. Nice. Comes with an extra little tail. I don't know how you can see that, but you can, I guess it's a replacement tail. You catch some toads and they rip your tail off. And then I also got this in, which it's it's a little scuffed, but that's okay. It's just mud. I got this huge six cents glide bait. It's called a Flow Glider uh, 130, I think. Also in a bluegill color because there's not a whole lot of shad around here. 
which is kind of why I got this one in the darker kind of shad color because I wanted it to kind of resemble um, bluegill if I needed it to which if a fish will eat it, it'll eat it. I, I mean, I don't really know. But uh, basically, I just want to show you this quick little unboxing. I think these baits are super sick. And I'm kind of, I've broken my PB twice this year. Really, in the, since like late April, May, early May, something like that. Whenever we went to Georgia, if you haven't seen that video, you need to go check it out. But whenever we went to Georgia for a, an archery shoot, um, we stopped at a little pond. We ended up catching like a five, six pound bass, and that was probably my PB. Didn't have a scale. <laughs> and then recently, like a couple weeks ago, uh, me and Cade and a couple other buddies, if you watched the four man bass tournament, kinda, I get, that's exactly the name of it, I think. <laughs> But in that video, I broke my PB there, and it was like, a, I, I caught on a live bluegill, and I know some people won't like that, but I don't really care, because it was still a huge bass, and I still caught it, so, whatever. Uh, but I really wanted to get into that, like, chasing that one big bite, you know, so that's really what this is for, but, um, I mean, these other two are certainly a lot bigger hard baits than I usually use. I mean this one honestly this one could probably catch me a bluegill. Knowing my luck. <laughs> but uh yeah I'm gonna get to working on these slow mos. Thank you guys for watching. I know this is a bit of a shorter video and there's no fishing but yeah that's pretty much it for today. <laughs> oh link in bio check out all the other merch while you're there uh this is a really awkward position, but make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, uh, and don't forget to subscribe. We slip out to the field, climb a tree, shoot a deer. I reminisce about these days, man, I get a chill. We keep our trucks